The Detroit Red Wings have drafted with the 32nd overall pick in the 2020 NHL entry draft. It is William Volander, and he is a guy whom, if you take a look at the profile of his, you can see immediately 6'4", 192 pounds. He's a big left-handed defenseman, one of the youngest guys in this NHL entry draft. Born in July of 2002, he is 18 years old. He was taken here at the top of the second round, the first pick of day two of the NHL entry draft by Detroit with their own second round pick. And if you take a look at the actual projections, you can see a little bit of a variance as to where he probably should have gone in some people's eyes and in the eyes of others. Take a look at this. 47th by Elite Prospects, 32nd by Future Considerations. So they actually nailed it. 32nd on their board. He actually went 32nd in real life. Craig Button had him at 20. McKean's 57. He was the 14th ranked European skater by NHL Central Scouting. 44th by Dobber Prospects and Cam Robertson. And 27th by TSN and Bob McKenzie. So, if you take a look at the profile, what you notice immediately with Volinder is that he scores a lot for a big left-handed defenseman. 24 points, 37 games played with the Moto Junior 20 team this past season. Interesting to note, though, the connections between Moto, you got William Volinder, who is playing over there with the Junior 20 team, and the Allsvenskan, and you have Matthias Norlander, a teammate of some sort. But... The big thing about William Wallander and his overall frame here, Norlander, obviously a Montreal Canadiens guy that I'm familiar with, is that he is a big six foot four defenseman who can actually skate very, very well. He's really fluid. He's agile. He's a ability to do stuff with his feet. It's very good. And his puck movement, offensive distribution, they're all very good as well. He is a very high upside kind of defender. It's just he has some question marks in his own zone. Can he body off guys properly? Can he read passing lanes properly? Can he use his stick to swipe the puck away properly and position himself in front of his own goalie in the right ways. These are kind of the questions that you have with the Volander because that is probably the most underdeveloped part of his game so far. But what you're doing with this pick right here at 32nd is you're taking a look at the upside that is there. If you can take a Volander and coach him into playing properly in his own zone and having that consistency compiled with the offensive talent and the movement that is already able to to succeed in this player, what you have is a very, very strong top four bet that may have a little bit of a tougher time getting there than others, but the potential is there. This is a high upside pick for sure for Stevie Y and the Red Wings. It's the second Swede taken in this draft by Detroit after Lucas Raymond at fourth overall, and the Red Wings still have two more second round picks with... The Athanasiu trade from the Oilers, not to mention they had the Washington Capitals' Matty Bowie trade as well, where they also got their second-round pick, too. So, for now, they're kicking things off in round number two with a very, very good profile in William Volander, 32nd overall. Take a look at this guy. He is going to be a very interesting prospect if he develops properly. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll be tuning in to a few other draft picks that are made by the Red Wings, the Habs, and probably the Canucks as well. So stick, stay tuned to this YouTube channel. Social Thoughts, Trollis 9 and Bye.